Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Truth Talks with Dr. Ann. In the background, you're going to see a scene from Florida. I had promised you that I would um, record a short podcast regarding the National Religious Broadcasters uh, Convention that I attended. And then I went to Florida, I drove to Florida afterwards to visit family. Anyways, I did a recording, but I didn't get it up and I didn't, um, I'm, I'm not good with my phone. I'm not a techie person that can do the edits on my phone. So anyways, waited till I got home. So today is the day. Anyways, I wanted to specifically focus on the speech by President Trump. And I I want to encourage you because I know that some of you are conflicted regarding, especially you Christians, regarding President Trump, former President Trump, if you want to call him that. And uh, I had the great privilege of sitting in the front row, a little to the left side of the auditorium, about you know, 30 or 40 feet from President Trump as he spoke on um, Thursday night at the National Religious Broadcasting event. And I have to tell you, um, I was so very impressed. Now, I don't understand why New Yorkers don't get Trump. He's one of them. And for the rest of us who have a little bit of struggle with his perhaps attitude or personality, I guess I wanna tell you, you have to lay that aside or maybe I should say get over it because I want you to hear three specific policies that he is going to put in place. And you need to understand, uh, and we're Canadians, we don't get to vote here, so I'm not suggesting, and some of you who are watching who are American, you do get to vote. But um, I think that everything that happens, of course, the south side of our border does inflect and reflect on us as Canadians. And we need to reflect on what is happening there. So, and certainly what is happening here and all of the corruption, uh, misinformation, the things that have been hidden and the most recent um, information that's come out with the China Trudeau coalition, if you want to call it that, um, and that two inch document that has just been released, um, just incredible stuff that's been happening. So how hard is it to for you to believe that uh, perhaps the American election might have been just rigged. Anyways, I'll, I'm not gonna get go into all of that, but what I wanted to do is, is just shortly um, splice in some short videos of President Trump as he speaks. So there are three things that he is really uh, focusing on here in each of these videos, one in each of these videos. The first one, he is pro-God. And you need to listen to this really carefully. It is so important for you to hear. The second one is that he is going to step up and focus on the persecution of Christians. Imagine that. Now, the first, the very first line of what he said actually was cut off, and I'm very sorry about that. But he ta he's talking about uh, Christians being dubbed as Christian nationalists. What is a Christian nationalist? It would be good if that could be defined. Um, but he goes on to talk about that. It's just another, it's another label that the, I want to, I, the, the extreme left are putting on God-fearing, law-abiding individuals in the U.S., but in Canada. So wake up, Canadians. And then the very last, um, last piece the last little video is about his defunding of public schools. Oh, yes, yes. If they are going to teach critical race theory and gender ideology. I'm telling you, this was music to my ears. So let's go back and watch these. The first is his 48 second uh, little dialogue on pro-Christian. I will protect the content that is pro-God. We're going to protect pro-God context and content. To that end, at the request of the NRB, I will do my part to protect AM radio in our cars, you know? We like to listen to AM radio because you know what we're listening to. Millions of Americans value listening to Christian broadcasters, and you're under siege. I know what you're going through. 
And this happened, this is a phenomenon that's just really happened. While they're on the road, we support you and we are supporting all of those believers and the people that believe in you. We're not going to abandon you and we're not going to abandon those great people that do these incredible broadcasts. They're incredible people. Now let's watch what President Trump had to say about the persecution of Christians. And he is bang on. I know that many of you are, you know, not not agreeing with this yet. You haven't woken up to the realities, perhaps, that are happening out there. But this is a reality. And it's not just in the U.S., of course. It is in Canada in a bigger way, even, and across the world. And you may say, well, Christians aren't losing their lives. Mm. Well, let's talk about the new harms bill, online harms bill in Canada that is set to be, you know, uh, go through Parliament. Listen to President Trump as he speaks about this. Christian bias has become a very big term, anti-Christian bias. Not believable that you have a term like that, is it? When you think about it, it's like... Where did that come from? And it's very, a very recent phenomenon. Its mission will be to investigate all forms of illegal discrimination, harassment, and persecution against Christians in America. As president, I will once again appoint rock-solid conservative judges in the mold of Justices Antonin Scalia and the great Clarence Thomas, who's doing a phenomenal job. And the final little clip that I am wanting to put in today that I hope that you will watch, and again, it's just a short, short clip, is about defunding schools that promote and teach critical race theory and or gender ideology. My heart was singing, uh, listen, people just lifted out of their seats spontaneously the minute he started talking about this. And uh, there was quite an uproar because people and parents have had enough. When will Canadian parents come to this conclusion? Watch and listen to what he says. And you will not assign a new executive order to cut federal funding for any school pushing critical race theory, transgender insanity, and other inappropriate racist, sexual, or violent content onto our children. I will support a policy of universal school choice allowing parents to choose the public, private, charter, or religious school that that best suits their children. And I will support America's homeschool families, including allowing five twenty-nine days of additional savings accounts to be used for homeschooling expenses up to ten thousand dollars a year per child, completely tax-free. So you can do that in your life. And to me, very importantly, I will close the Federal Department of Education, and we will move everything back to the states where it belongs. Well, that's it uh, for now, for today. Thank you very much for watching. The background, it's reminiscent. I loved my few days in Florida with my grandson particularly. And I will be back to you next week. Have a great day.